つかなアスカナ means balance or peace in our language and the intention is to share these stories from a Ongohoe woman's perspective. A lot of it has to do with earth and feminine forces. The story is the post-apocalypse. Once the cities and the structure and all of this is no more, that there are people who survived. We follow the journey of a young Kahinkahaga girl who is fleeing from Six Nations during a climate catastrophe, an imagined climate catastrophe in 2050 into the safety of our traditional homelands in Upper State New York at a bunker camp. It has become um, into four parts and the first part is called um, the edge of collapse, the escape. So it's everything that's sort of giving context of what the characters have gone through, the state of the world that they're in, the environment that they're in, and it's their journey to get to their Upper State New York location. Part two is really them establishing their campsite. You're starting to see the interaction between all of them, the dynamics. And then we go into the third section, which is called New Vision. And this is an important part of the story because the young girl, she's maybe around 13 years old, knows that she has to go through her rites of passage. We see her go through a lodge um, setting and she gets visited by three visions of women and then the intention of re-establishing Skana. The last part is, is very much about res restoration. How do you rebuild? <laughs> What's important to rebuild? I 